Good morning. Uh, uh, if I had a brain, I'd use it. Swipe, wipe, away. Be prepared. Uh, there we go. So, season of mists and a mellow fruitfulness, according to a certain John Keats, the poet. Well, it's misty outside, it came to mind. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Proverbs number 3, verses 5 to 7. Hmm. Now, I wrestle with this. <laughs> I'm just short of my 66th birthday. I found, I came across one of my earlier films 13 years ago, I think. I'm in the northeastern corner of Ingerland, Northumbria, in a town called Annick, and I think I was, <coughs> that was actually staying here in a bed and breakfast place then. But I was absolutely fired up about something. <laughs> what a surprise. Beastly in this world. And I seemingly unable to do anything about it. Well, nothing's changed, seemingly. Here I am, and I still look at my life and think, well, what have I done? I am a Christian, I love God through Christ. So, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Well, am I just using this as, a, as a, an easy get-out clause, not to do anything? Because seemingly that is practically what happens in my own personal life. Yes, okay, I meet people, I speak of my love of God through Christ, so, yes, in that way I keep the light of Christ shining to the best of my ability. Yes, I make these films, which are potentially available to anyone in the world who, virtually anyone in the world who, who wants to have a look. But to me, I mean, that is utterly not enough. And yet, practically, what can one do? I found myself just speaking of, of uh, the death of Mikhail Gorbachev last week. And of course, he, as the last leader of the Soviet Union, made a huge practical difference in the world by sort of bringing Russia uh, more, more out uh, whatever whatever he did but out of its 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 totalitarian Soviet past in, into something more akin to you know, the enlightened West and, <laughs> I hesitate because, quite frankly, how enlightened is the West? When I get really troubled by this, again, I think of Christ, and Christ, as far as I'm concerned, has been in this world. To me, he's living in me now, here and now today. But for over 2,000 years, so his message has been available 
increasingly throughout the world, through those intervening 2,000 years. And yet look at the world, it's still the most humongous mess. So even with all the power, of God, us human beings, mankind in general, clearly doesn't get it. We've got this war going on now between Ukraine and Russia. Both sides have very strong Christian pasts, traditions and so on. And Christ is completely clear about this. If they strike you on one cheek, give unto them the other cheek. He never said raise armies to kill the other one. He never said develop ever more powerful humongous weaponry to kill the other lot. In his time, the Romans were behaving appallingly. Yes, I'm sure they did some good stuff too, but they clearly were involved in, in all sorts of awfulness. And yet Christ did not, he utterly did not raise up in people a physical fighting spirit. He gave us the opportunity to rise out of our base selves and to aspire to Christ's likeness. And that then is utterly a message of love encapsulated in the two commandments. So love God, love your neighbour as yourself. And I'm <coughs> trying to carry that beautiful Christian message in my lifetime. And I'm still here, <laughs> one way or the other, <laughs> to tell the tale. I can't, I can't make people listen, I can't, I feel I'm, I've brought myself up here to Northumbria, this is me just rambling on a bit, which is sort of out of the way, but potentially I could be in the big world, you know, within a very short period of, of time, travel up to Edinburgh, down to London, flying off to wherever around the world, communicating through this thing. So in a sense, it doesn't matter actually where I live as long as I'm sort of at peace within myself and then I can be what I aspire to be. So take up your cross and follow me each day. I, I aspire to be a better Christian each day. I never say I'm a good Christian, for heaven's sake. We all, humanity, all of mankind, every single one of us can never achieve Christ-likeness. But equally, we all are given this God-given capacity to aspire to the perfection of Christ. Amen. Oh, so I was raging about it 13 years ago in one of my films. I had a different candlestick then. This, this is a nice one too. This is even more stable than the other one. The other one only had one pin to its little handle. Whereas this has got two, so it's stronger. That one was nicked at some point. 
I'd hidden it somewhere under a tree in someone's found my bag of hidings by the Cathedral Abbey Church of St Albans some years ago. So, <clears throat> oh Lord, I can't make the people there, the Ukrainians and Russians, love each other. How do you tell someone, they, the Russians just bombed you, why shouldn't you follow your natural human instinct and want to bomb them back? They've occupied you. What did we do, the West? We've got no moral high ground to stand on here. Hitler started invading and, and we went and fought. As the older generation would argue, and many others, it was the right thing to do. But not as Christians. That is, as far as I'm concerned, an absolutely clear, black and white, straightforward position as a Christian. Whatever anyone else does, to you or yours, you do not respond with physical violence. Christ is completely clear about this. If, if they want your whatever, your cloak or anything else, you give them not only your cloak, but you go the extra mile with them. And you respond with love. That I can get right. No one can make me lose that clear perspective. And then, again, this almost feels like a cop-out, but it's the best I can find in my spirit. <coughs> I'm my own worst critic by far. Quite frankly, no one else gives a ton about me, as <laughs> this is the way of the world. Um, the, the works that God has prepared for one in advance somehow. So how does one know how one's life will um, come to bear upon others in one's lifetime and in future generations? But again, if I'm not fully engaged in a work, which I'm not, that's the problem, For the life of me, I can't see it. And I've been at this, essentially, for all of my adult life, ever since I could hear God calling me at the age of maybe 14 or 15 years old, so it's nothing new. My mother would say, enjoy this minute, so, you know, and then there's divine discontent, so I'm definitely one of them, divinely discontented, because I'm not doing enough. I've got all the time in the world to contemplate and pray, which in, its, in and of itself actually is, is of real worth. But again, I just will not accept that, that a, a contemplative life is all that I have to offer this world. Lived in prayer, in isolation. So it's a very open, Question, I'm granted another day of life. I'm getting no judge, <laughs> as for all of us. I just found myself looking at some of my old films of my mother when she got elderly, sadly, tragically, really, in a nursing home, so her poor old mind had gone. But she had a lucid day, and she was absolutely banging on about I'm pretty sure it's a girl guide thing. Do it now. Do it now. And she just kept repeating it. Do it now. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he 
will make your paths straight. Amen. I'm going to put this beautiful Beethoven on. I didn't want it going, but it's the... Uh, Thirteenth uh, late spring quartet, uh, late spring quartet number thirteen, not the thirteenth one. Pretty much the end of Beethoven. This is the cavatina, the slow movement, and as far as I'm concerned, it's very beautiful. So, if I'm as beautiful inside as I can make myself, utterly with God, because He's the boss and He does everything, and I'm merely just a a vessel, then I put my hand in his hand and just pray. I'll just have a quick little blast of this. Yes.